Hi guys, welcome back to TBKPC. It's Mari here, and I'm back with another video. Um, I'm not showing my face this time because my hair isn't done, I don't have my makeup on, but um, yeah, that's pretty much why. So let's just get right into the video. Um, you saw the title, so you know I'm going to be talking about K-pop concerts 2018 because a lot of things have been announced, and I'm just going to like lay it all out for you. I just want to just make a video about it because we, we need to talk about this. So first things first, let's talk about Astro. Um, Astro just finished up their tour back in February. They went to San Francisco, Los Angeles, Washington DC, and New York. 24K started their US tour in February. They went to Texas, they've already gone to Chicago, and they just finished their Atlanta date. As we speak, 24K is in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and tomorrow on the 25th, they'll be in New York, and there, I believe there might still be tickets available, and again, all the information is in the description. The company that ran the Astro Tour, which was K-Pop Me, um, they have another tour coming up with Zion T. Um, Zion T will be going to New York, Toronto, Dallas, San Jose, Los Angeles, and Vancouver. Uh, tickets are on sale right now. Um, his tour is going to be in March. So like March 16th through March 28th. Yeah, I included Canada in here, uh, but just don't worry about that. I hope you don't mind if I mention K-pop concerts that not just in the US, but also in like Canada, just because I know that some of us might consider going to Canada for certain events. For example, Ace is heading to Toronto K-pop convention and Vancouver K-pop convention this year, which is really exciting, and a lot of people are excited for that, and they haven't even announced all the artists yet. Um, they Just today, as I say this, they announced that they're going to announce their headliner artists, and I'm really curious to find out about that. Because that announcement will determine whether I go to Anime Central or if I'm taking a bus to Canada. So that's really, it's really cool. Toronto K-Pop Con and Vancouver K-Pop Con, they're both happening, happening simultaneously on May 18th, 19th, and 20th. So May 18th through 20th, 2018. Speaking of conventions, uh, KCON US... Uh, you know, for KCON New York and KCON LA, um, they put out a poll earlier um, earlier this month um, asking fans who they wanted to come to uh, KCON. And I was looking through the comments on their Twitter under that, and I saw a lot of people asking for Ace and Luna specifically, and it was it was just really interesting to see that. Like, but yeah, they put out a poll. Uh, they also put out a poll more recently about uh, asking people what um, actors they wanted to bring, what YouTube celebrities, what kind of uh, booths and activities that they, people wanted. And so, yeah. And go, going on more about K-pop conventions, um, in the US, a Korea Times Music Festival, um, that event is happening, I believe, in April. Uh, actually, let me check. The Korea Times Music Festival will be held at the Hollywood Bowl on April 28th, 2018, and the show starts at 6 p.m. They haven't announced any artists yet, but tickets are still on sale, so get them quickly. Because we don't know who might show up, and, and the worst that could happen is that some an artist you don't like shows up, and then you can just resell the tickets. I will have links for all of the events in the description below, so just check that out at the end of the video if you need more information. I'm going to switch gears here and talk about um, K-Hip-Hop, and a tour has just been announced recently, Mad Clown and Son E's We Want You Tour, um, also with Subei and DJ Juice. They'll be going to several cities. And um, it says more shows are going to be announced. This is all happening in April, and tickets are on sale right now. And no, I didn't forget, I know what you all are waiting for. Two tours have been announced recently. 
The first one is, of course, the GOT7 World Tour. I am so excited. I'm, I'm going to make a separate video on just, just talking about that tour. But also, um, if you didn't know, when the tour dates were announced, like, the, like, later in, like, the same day, Monster X announced a world tour, and I'm just, and everyone lost their mind, because, you know, we're all multi-fandom, and so, I know a lot of Monster X fans are GOT7 fans, and so it's now, like, a test of loyalty. Which concert are you going to? Do you, like, it's, like, how much money do I have? Can I go to both, or do I have to choose one? And it's... Well, I will make a whole separate video on just those two. But yeah, that's happening. Let me um, go into detail. Um, Toronto will be July 3rd. Los Angeles, July 6th. Houston, July 8th. New York, July 11th. And a Mexico City, July 13th. Oh. I wish they were coming to Chicago. Oh my god. Like, if you go on, like, uh, Subculture's Twitter... And you, s or just got Seven's Twitter, just anything that has the tour dates. Everyone's like, "Where's Chicago? Where's Chicago?" And I'm like, "Yeah, what the fuck?" <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. But yeah, we're wondering like where Chicago is, and now I have to just get myself to s like the plan is Houston. The plan is Houston, and I think I'm gonna stick with Houston. But like, if it were Chicago, uh. Do you know how easy that would be? Oh. Lastly, I'm going to talk about upcoming tours and rumored tours. So, I'm looking at Super Junior's Facebook page right now. And what I see is they'll be going to Toronto, but the dates are rescheduled. They'll be going to New York, also rescheduled, and Los Angeles, also rescheduled. But um, for, as for the venues... Uh, Toronto will be Air Canada Center, New York Barclays Center, and LA Staples Center. Now, I'm not really caught up with EXO's current activities, but I'm looking at the Wikipedia page, and they've already started a tour. X... X... Elysian... You know what? I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. I'm sorry. But they, they have already started a tour. Oh, they actually started a tour back in November of 2017. But, um, February they went to Japan. In March they're going to Singapore and Thailand. And in April they're going to the Philippines. But, uh, yeah, EXO is on tour right now. And so, or they're, they have tour dates. Like, I know they have, they have, they're doing, they're also doing multiple events. Like, they're at the Olympics right now, I think. Or they were. And, yeah, they have tour dates. They So, they're definitely going to come to America. And I'd be... I, I'm excited. Like, if... Like, of course, I have other tour... I have other concerts that I'm saving up money for. But if someone has an extra ticket and they want to, like, just, like, give it away, I, I'll take that off your hands. And then, lastly, I was on Twitter or Instagram and I saw... Um, this rumor about a one on one tour. And let me explain to you why that's important. So, a while ago, there was this rumor about the GOT7 tour being uh, starting in like May of this year. And I saw that several months ago, like last year. And that's when I, that's when I started seriously saving money. I mean, of course, I started saving money and working right when Turbulence Tour ended, like back in January of 2017, but I saw that rumor and it's like, okay, time to get, time to get things ready, time to prepare things, time to get myself familiar with how ticket sales work and how events are planned and stuff like that. And so even though the 101 tour is just a rumor, I think it's important to follow the, follow the rumors and like to make sure you keep up with those rumors because that rumor was pretty accurate. Their tour is starting at around um, May and uh, May and June and July and stuff. So I think that's something to look out for. 
And that's it. That's all the tours and concerts and events so far for America and Canada. And I, I'm just excited. Like, as much as I, like, like, I'll make a, like, of course, I'll make a video about the GOT7 tour separately. But it's like, ugh. I just want to say that I'm saving, I'm trying my best, I'm trying my hardest to save up for GOT7. Because I'm trying to get that front row. I am, you have no, you don't even know. Like, front, I'm getting front row. I'm not working this hard to not get front row. Uh, tour season has started and I'm just so excited. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye!